crystal. Right now I'm reading The Scrappy Bear and the Six White Mice. This has some really cool pictures. How cool would it be if you could bring books to life? If only I had a magic wand or a superpower. You don't need a magic wand or a superpower to bring a story to life. What? Not at all. We bring literature to life with puppetry, music and imagination. Cool. Can I open my eyes yet? Not yet. What about now? What about Not now? Yet. What about now? What about Hang now? On. What about now? What about now? What about now? Wait. One, two. All right, now. Oh, mother, it's so wonderful. Oh, bye. <laughs> Sarah and Luke are from Meerkat Productions, a touring company who give life to children's literature and bring it to the stage. Oh, my arm, it really hurts. Who let this boy into the battle? Tell me about the books that we're gonna bring to life today. Well, firstly, Boy is about a deaf boy in a medieval village, the first deaf character in a picture book ever, the first deaf hero, and he helps reconcile a king and a dragon. And also we have The Elephant by Peter Canavis and that's an awesome story about a girl named Olive whose dad has an elephant following him everywhere and she tries to get rid of it. What's your special power to bring your books to life? My special power is my imagination and my voice. This is our final battle, the last time we will fear. The bell rings like this time on our eyes are everything we Together want. we can. Yeah, so speaking of imagination, we go around all of these different schools, there's three teams. We go all the way around Australia. Now, as you saw in the book, there are lots and lots of different characters, but there's only Luke and I that do the shows. So we've got to use puppets, and we also use the audience, so they play different characters as well. So we really rely on imagination and puppetry and the songs and stuff to get the story going really That must cool. be really nice. It is really nice, and it's also a lot of fun and hard work too, so we've got lots and lots of practice, don't we, Luke? That's it. It's hard at first, wasn't it? But when you do something over and over again, you become better at it quickly as well. That's mm. what we found. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> when you've been chased by others and attacked by crazy fools, they know nothing of who I am. What do they teach them in school? I start feeling so sad then I end up quite mad Fighting back's the only way The battle ends today On your mark No, 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 I didn't take up I didn't take up I didn't take up uh, uh, no, 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 Oh, I need one hand, Olive no, 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 oh, I'm a touch typer, it's fine no, 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 no. I, I don't, I'm careful, careful I won! Woohoo! Woohoo! Why did you pick these two books? Well, it was a celebration of Book Week and also Literacy Week and there are six shortlisted books for the Children's Book Council of Australia and these two were our favourites. So there was the Younger Readers book, which is Boy You've Got There, and also The Elephant is the other book. Um, and we thought they had really, really important messages, so we really enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. Cool. What's the best thing about performing these shows? I really like that when you go to a school, sometimes it might be the first show that a kid has ever seen and I think that's really magical. That is very rewarding. My favourite thing about doing the shows is I get to do the floss. <laughs> King Colossal Bottom! That's right! Dance with me! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> What's your favourite puppet? My favourite puppet in Boy will have to be the dragon, I would say. Um, the dragon is a very cool puppet. He hadn't been here before. He ran right into a big, dark, deep pair of eyes. What's your favourite puppet? My favourite puppet is Freddy, who you see in The Elephant. And he's just a ball of fluff, but when you give him life, he becomes an amazing dog. Do you want us to show you? Yes, yeah, please. we'll show you our favourite puppets, so here they are. Oh. <laughs> this is a ball of fluff. I know. his eyes. So <laughs> there. Do you want to give him? Oh. Can you show me how to be a puppeteer? Of course I can. So, 
you see those holes there? Yep, that's it. So you're going to put one there, and we're going to flip them around. Do you see it? And you've just got to give them life. So you're going to breathe. Breathe slowly with the puppet. Like this. That's it. And maybe he's looking over here. And then he's looking over here. Now he's looking over there. And up. And up. And down. And up. And up. And down. And he's kissing your neck. Oh, you're so good. You're a natural. Very good. <laughs> I love you so much and I know that you care but I'll be all right on my own so I can face what the future brings now and today I can say everything's okay who creates the song well, two very talented people called Tim Smith and Luke Hunter. And if you've seen any of the big musicals that come to Australia, like Lion King or Jersey Boys, they're actually the musical director for those musicals. So very lucky to have them. That's very nice. Mm. Can we win this battle? Yes, we can. Can we stick together until it is over? Yes, we can. Then tonight, the dragon will surrender. Alpha is a fearsome creature who roasts everything in sight. His shadow looms over our land and his roars wake me up at night. He turns trees into sticks, oh, but they're great as toothpicks. I digress, I mean to say, let's kill the beast today. Thanks to the Meerkat production for taking my imaginations on a wild adventure. There's always plenty more stories to tell, Crystal. Let's go bring some to life right now. Right, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>